Good morning guys, happy Monday. We're about to go for a run. I haven't found a gym that I like near me, so we're just, I've been doing runs in place of that. So I'm gonna warm up. Let's head out for a quick like two and a half miles. If I could hit three, that would be amazing. It's like 8.30 right now. Let's get a workout in. Welcome to today's video. We're going to be spending the week together doing another weekly vlog. It's the first weekday where I've actually felt like I could have a full settled day. I didn't vlog last week, but it was basically my first week in the house and I just spent it continuing to unpack, getting everything sorted. And that in itself took about a week. And so today, which is May 20th, is the first time that I actually feel like settled and I'm fully in just settling in mode which is so nice, especially because I feel like I haven't had stability like this in a few weeks because even when I was back at the apartment, I was still packing up all my stuff, which in itself is chaos. And I'm excited to kick off like my first full work from home, work week out of here. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Everything's really set up except for Wi-Fi, which is crucial, but we're gonna have to wait like 12 more days for that. So I've been Working off my hotspot, which I'm just like crossing my fingers doesn't run out of data. Like I said, this is the first week where, you know, I'm really going to be trying to get fully back into my routine because I haven't been in it. I've been running to try and like kickstart my workouts again. And also because I haven't found a gym that I really like, I've just kind of been running to get my body moving in some sort of way, but I do need to find a gym at some point this week that I wanna go to. Besides that, things have been going really well and it's the first day where I'm like, okay, we can start the week off in stability. Like I need to plan my week. I need to plan the rest of May. There's only like a week and a half left of May. So I kind of want to map that out. And then I also need to do some editing for different videos, a pod episode, just a regular personal channel video. I need to read for a vlog, but if we can get all of that done, then that's a success. Before I get started in the office, I want to put on some jewelry that I just got in from Meijuri. I thought I would go through it with you and accessorize because I feel a little empty right now because I'm not wearing anything. I also want to say thank you so much to Meijuri for sponsoring this video. I have been a lover and wearer of Meijuri for years. I've ordered their jewelry, used so much of it, and it has never failed in quality. Meijuri is a jewelry brand that creates really high quality pieces and their mission is to basically redefine luxury. So they make pieces with super well-sourced materials to last you a lifetime. Their stuff is simple and sleek, but looks so luxurious and elegant. So first we have this super pretty chain necklace. I love a sleek chain like this. It, it looks kind of like glowy on the skin. This is such a good layering piece too. Okay, next up we have a dome ring. That is so pretty. Like you can just see the quality of that already. Really simple, elegant. It gives, what is that vibe called? Hidden luxury? Quiet luxury, it's giving quiet luxury. And all of their pieces are crafted from premium materials. So they have things like 14 karat gold, sterling silver. They also have white gold and like natural and lab grown diamonds. Last thing we have from them are these gorgeous ear. I love a chunky gold earring. You guys know me and my gold hoops. I won't leave the house without them. Accessories just do up a look from like a five to a 10 for me. And that is exactly what Majuri's jewelry does. So if you have been looking for some really high quality pieces, then I will have all of this link down below. You can use the QR code that's on the screen to shop from them. Thank you so much to Majuri for sponsoring this video. I'm so happy to work with a brand I love. Now that we're dressed and ready to tackle the day, I need to get some caffeine. You guys know that's first on my list. Like we're not getting work done without my little dose of caffeine. I do feel like I have perfected my matcha recipe, so I'm gonna put the steps on the screen. Fun update. 
yesterday I did get a new color of my Simple Modern Cup to add to the collection. It's this bright blue that I think is really pretty. And I don't know why I felt the need to tell you, but you know, a girl in her cups. Like, it's just one of the best parts of life. Oh my gosh, is this thing steaming up from how humid it is? It's time for lunch. Sorry if the AC is so loud, I'll literally pass out without it. I edited a few hours of the podcast and I finished editing my main channel video. I just need a few more clips that I'm gonna film today before that can go up. And then I started editing the podcast but my computer was just not having it. I was trying to like import all the footage and everything and it was just freaking out. Final Cut Pro would not load basically. I decided that meant it was time for lunch break and I looked up salads on maps and I found this salad place near me that I have never been to or tried and I'm still getting familiar with the area so it's time to try new spots and I felt like getting like a wrap or something so I ordered a wrap and a salad and I'm gonna try it out. Got the food. Let's taste test it together. Little mukbang. Oh no. Did they not give me utensils? Look, we have a kale salad. So yummy. And this is what I actually like wanted to really try which is a veggie wrap. The grilling on it looks really nice. Taste test. Oh my gosh. I brought my Olipop from home. Just having a little lunch feast in here. Also brought my chips from home. Some Siete Fuego chips. I think it has hummus, radishes, kale, caramelized onions, and avocado. 10 out of 10, that's really, really good. Every time I decide to try and hang something, there's like a 50% chance that it goes wrong. So we're gonna see how this one goes. That one went right. Okay, it is dinner time and I'm just eating the kale salad that I had left over from earlier. I don't know if you can see that. And then Renee came over and made some salmon. So I put it on top and I have a whole little dinner here, which I'm very excited to eat because I'm starving. I am about to hop in the shower, but first I wanted to open this little package that came in from Fresh. I've used Fresh since high school. I used to love their cleanser. Let's see what we got. Oh yay, we have the Fresh Soy Facial Cleanser. This is what I used to love in high school. And it's been so many years since I've tried it, so I'm excited to try that. We have the Lotus Youth Preserve Moisturizer. Cute. Some new skincare to try out. Guys. Okay, then we have this fresh, obviously, where else would it be from? We have this Lotus Youth Preserve Resurfacing Dream Serum. It gently exfoliates and boosts radiance. Oh my gosh, a classic sugar lip treatment. I've actually never tried one of these. Mmm, smells really good. Nice. Thank you so much, Fresh, for sending me these goodies. I'm so excited to try them. I think it's like 10, so I just need to take a shower, read some of my Bible, hop in bed, and probably just wind down for the night. I finished reading The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I give my full thoughts in the reading vlog, so go watch that if you haven't. And that book has just left me speechless. I am so, it just, it impacted me so deeply. Like it's just one of those books that makes you feel so many things. I cried like four times while reading the last 100 pages and oh, they're making a movie and I feel like I'm just gonna sob in the theaters when I watch it. And I think Dakota and Elle Fanning are playing the sisters, which is gonna be so insane. And it's exactly how I imagine the two girls that are sisters in the book. So I think that's like such a good casting. Sometimes book castings, they're not it. And it kind of, it kind of you don't wanna watch it because it's just gonna like ruin the story, but that casting sounds perfect.
Okay guys, we made it to Tuesday. It is currently 11. I'm in my office and I just finished planning out my day on my planner. The main things I really need to do is get my reading vlog completely edited because I filmed the last clips for it yesterday when I finished my book. Get that scheduled. Ideally get it up today or latest tomorrow morning. I need to do the thumbnail for that. I need to start editing Faith on Fire and uh, then the rest of that is like smaller things. I have to do some posts for different accounts, scheduling content, and hopefully finish unpacking the remaining boxes that are in my garage. Also, if you're wondering, I haven't been able to trade because I don't have Wi-Fi and I've just been working off of my hotspot, which in itself has been really difficult. Thought we could have a little chat about how I've been feeling since moving and just like where I am mentally, emotionally, just like some updates. I wasn't planning on doing this and then i woke up this morning feeling a little bit off and i was like you know what i should check in with the besties and just like let everyone know i've been feeling just like a little bit off and i don't know why and the only thing the only thing i can think about is that i was thrown like completely out of whack and i'm just like trying to get my bearings again which i know is normal but i can be really like impatient with myself which makes me feel like i should just have it all together because I moved and that means that like life should be completely back to normal and like I should feel back to normal I honestly just feel like off like I know it's my first week like trying to get back into my routine But it's just taking me a minute longer than I thought it was going to um, and I think I Underestimated like a readjustment period for me because all the past times I've moved you guys know I was like in the same area in an apartment like it was basically me just transferring my living space to something completely identical and this has been very different and i love it i've been loving home life like guys i can't explain how much i love it but the difference is pretty drastic like just a completely new area i haven't even found my spots like i want to get out of the house today i just don't know where to go have another way to explain it then like i just don't feel on i don't feel how i normally do when i wake up and i'm like ready to get the day started i'm ready to tackle the day like i just have like no motivation to do that and i don't want to but i'm trying to push through that because this is just like where discipline comes in and i know it's only for me like pushing through those feelings that i'm gonna actually be able to get back into my routine so I talk about it because i wanted to and i feel like that'll help you guys understand me more and also it almost feels like the kind of adrenaline dump after moving. I was preparing for so long for like this big thing and then it finally happened and uh, I'm like settling in and I'm like, okay, this is this is it now. Like, what are we gonna do? How do we get back into the routine type of thing? And it, it just feels kind of like an adrenaline dump and also trying to readjust while settling in, which in itself is just hard. Like, I just don't do well with change. I've never done well with change. Not because I'm necessarily like afraid of it. It's because it makes me so uncomfortable that I don't want to deal with it. And when you have no choice but to deal with it, you're kind of just like thrown in there trying to make it through the day and like stay motivated. It's also really, really weird that I don't have Wi-Fi and this house is silent. The only noise is Lola snoring on my carpet. I mean, on the bright side, Lola's loving house life and so do I. I'm just adjusting, you know, it's just part of it. It's literally just part of moving. And I just thought I would share it because this is like a me settling in type of week, but also me readjusting and what that actually looks like. Um, anyways, I do actually need to start working now so I can get ahead on some stuff. Got some chickpeas for lunch. I'm gonna season them and roast them in the oven. Just some garlic powder, got onion powder and pepper. I wanna make like a blend of all of these spices because it's basically what I season everything with. For those of you that like the what I eat in a day content, here's lunch. I'm actually really proud of it because if there's one meal in the day, I hate cooking, it's lunch because it takes time out of the day. So I love picking up like meal preps or just going and grabbing a salad, but I want to cook more. But when I do cook lunch, I try to make it filling and healthy. Today we have some roasted chickpeas with quinoa and this was leftover asparagus from last night. And I love to just sprinkle some sriracha over the chickpeas 
add some more flavor. And then I have some roasted naan bread and some hummus. I've been waiting all day for a delivery that I think is here. Did they leave it? This is the loft space. You can see it's turning into a book nook slowly. The rug for the space just came in and the furniture for it is coming next week. So we're gonna do a rug reveal. I don't know if you've noticed in like the little snippets, I've gone a bit more colorful with some of the decor because I felt like white and beige was kind of stale and basic and I wanted it to feel really homey. I wanted there to be pops of color. And I also feel like it kind of outgrew like the all white, all beige type of thing. So I wanted it to still be like modern, but with color included. So we're gonna try out this rug and hopefully, hopefully it looks good because I'm no interior designer. I love it so much. Look at that. You can see it kind of looks like a reddish, like deep rust color, but I thought it would warm up the space so nicely. And then there's gonna be a couch there and like two chairs here and it's gonna be lined with books and then like a really cute floor lamp there. So hopefully you can kind of see the vision I'm going for. It's a little bit different than what I've done in the past, but I think it's gonna come together really nice and be super cozy, which is what I want. Look how pretty it looks in the sunlight. I got this from Wayfair. Well, I actually got it from All Modern, but it's like a partner, it's like a partner of Wayfair. So it's technically through Wayfair. It has these little tassels on the side as well that are cream. So it's really pretty. just finished doing my thumbnail for tomorrow's video like the little outlining on it and today was a good day so I ended up getting done the reading vlog the thumbnail the posts on the different accounts also read some of my bible I did Acts chapter 20 and I'm still trying to get through the book of Acts and it's slow but steady and I've been in it for a few weeks slash months now and I started the seven year slip by Ashley Austin because everyone loves this book. It's like a really good lighthearted read after The Nightingale. There is a bit of a dilemma happening. So the iPad I was using to do the thumbnail is actually not mine. I asked Renee if I could borrow his iPad because I have not seen mine since the move. And that's such an issue because I use it for work. I have this memory of putting it in like a green iPad sleeve because I was like, I don't want to lose it. And I remember I didn't pack it because I was like, I don't want it to be in a box and I want to take it myself. And a few days ago, I finished unpacking like all my office stuff. I went to go look for my iPad to do a thumbnail and I was like, where is my iPad? Then I realized that I hadn't seen it even since like before the move. I can't use Find My because it's dead and I just have no idea where it went. And it's been like five days now that I've been like looking for it, kind of hoping it pops up. But I also kind of had this memory of being like, well, I'm gonna put it in this box and hopefully it doesn't break. But I don't know if that's my imagination. Like, you know, when you can't tell if a memory is actually a memory or your imagination, that's the point I'm at with this. That's something that sucks about moving is like things get damaged or things get lost because there's just so much happening and it's literally all your stuff being transported. All the bags I moved personally during the move, like it's, they're empty, it's not anywhere. So I don't know where it is. I know it's in that green sleeve and it's missing. These are my current beverages. We have my matcha because we need caffeine and then a protein shake because we need more protein. Oh. It's 
midday right now and I'm just gonna put on a tiny bit of makeup to make me feel a little bit more alive. My vlog is currently uploading and exporting. Guys, this morning, just wanted to update you on the gym journey. It was absolutely not it. I went to this, I went to the Gold's gym that's basically closest to me now. I'm seriously not picky with my gyms, guys, but when it's so dirty, like to the point where the equipment is like making your hands like dirty from just using it like that grosses me out like i can't i can't do that you know like you're using everyone's like sweaty equipment but for it to also be like really not clean is that's an issue for me and so i go in and everything's very very dirty the machines are like rusty and i'm like oh okay this isn't this is not what I was expecting. I, you know, I'm trying to get my workout in, but then I go to like the mats area where you can do abs and stuff, and the whole carpet is like super stained, and it smells weird, and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can do this. I was not able to work out comfortably. It was honestly an experience, but it was, it was not the vibe. It was not the vibe. Guys, big news. Guess what else? I found my freaking ipad i was already getting so sad and i was like i'm not gonna buy another one they're way too expensive today i'm sitting down in the living room uploading my video and i'm like oh anika this stupid ipad where did you put it like why can you not find something that you always have and you're always taking care of and i was just like so fed up with it and i was like i bet it's in my office like chances are i literally unpacked it and i don't remember and it's like hiding somewhere. I go into my office. Why is it that I open my drawer and it's literally sitting there? It's literally sitting there. I knew it. And you know what's funny? I unpacked those drawers in the last vlog. Sure enough, there was the iPad in the green sleeve just sitting there. Also, quick hack. If you are wearing pimple patches and you kind of want to conceal them a little bit more. One, get your concealer brush and run like dab it on them and then take some powder and swipe it over them. It doesn't make them like completely invisible, but you can see them less because the powder like mattifies them. It's later in the evening now, it's actually nighttime, but I just ate dinner and today was a very successful day. I don't know if we caught up, but basically I ended up uploading my reading vlog. I was super happy with the way it turned out and those are like seriously some of my favorite videos to film and probably my favorite videos to watch. I edited majority of the pod and then the first draft at least. So tomorrow I'll just do like the second draft, send that over to Sarah so she can review it. Things are on schedule basically um, and it was a productive day. Tomorrow I have a busy morning, I have an appointment and want to fit in a run. I've just been downstairs reading The Seven Year Slip. I think I told you guys I started that yesterday and I'm on like page 75 and it's going so well so far. I'm already feeling really intrigued by the story which is a good sign i feel like the first 100 pages of a book are super telling as to if i'm gonna like it or not and so far on page 75 i'm already entertained with it fully flying through it and it's about this girl named clementine she moves into her now dead aunt's apartment the apartment itself is like magical and is known for kind of some time travel things that happen and it's actually a romance book but i feel like the premise of it is so creative that i'm so excited to read it she meets a guy through that and i'm not really sure where it goes from there but he's like in her apartment but he's like seven years in the past so i think i'm pretty sure something's gonna happen where they fall in love but then it needs to catch up with the present day somehow because she lives in the present. But I'm telling you all of that because I'm going to listen to the audiobook right now. And if you couldn't tell, we're actually in the loft area, which is AKA the book nook transformed. 
um, because you guys know the book nook lived in my room in the apartment, but now I have like a bigger space and I was like, this is literally the perfect little library to have in the house. So I dreamed this up and I have in these bags, which I don't think you can see, my books. I have three huge bags of books that I need to put away. I've been meaning to put away this, all of these books and I've just had them in the garage. So right now is a time where I'm going to put on my audiobook and organize my bookshelves and I'm so excited because the furniture for this space comes, some of it's coming next week. So if I get like all the books in when some of the furniture comes, I'm gonna get to start using this space, which is gonna be really nice. I'm not really sure how I wanna do it. You're sitting in the bookshelves right now, but I have two like right next to each other. And I don't know if I want to do like TVR somewhere and then like the red ones in a different section rather than keeping them all together by genre. I think I'm gonna separate them by red and unread, AKA TVR. Then from there, I'll separate by genre and author probably. And I'm on chapter eight right now. bookshelves so we have unread and read and nonfiction just like randomly down there but I also pulled some for like a media TBR these are just I recently bought the summer of broken rules I know this is an older book but it's summertime and I'm ready to get into some summer reads and then the roughest draft I heard is like reminiscent of beach read I bought this last year when I was in New York and I've just been literally saving it for summer. So I pulled that out, Daisy Hayes, because I want to continue Magnolia Park series and hopefully catch up with it. And then the reappearance of Rachel Price, which is the new Holly Jackson book that I bought at Target the other day. This is current immediate TBR. And then that's like more general TBR. And then we have red over here, which I need to add a few because I have some downstairs. I love the way it looks. I cannot wait to fill this up and add another one. It's like four o'clock right now and I just ran into a bit of a dilemma. I finished editing the pod and then I went to go like send that to Sarah and usually I'll send her a Dropbox link for me to remember in that moment that Dropbox on my personal hotspot takes literally hours to upload anything. So we have a few options. I need to find Wi-Fi. There's a Merit nearby me that I've never been to, so I'm gonna go there. I know they have Wi-Fi. I just feel like sometimes cafe Wi-Fi, it has the capability of like surfing the internet, downloading an app, watching a YouTube video. But when you're trying to upload things, especially large files, so I'm really hoping I don't get there and it says like upload four hours. And so I guess I'll buy like a matcha or something while I'm there because I feel like it's not right to go in and just use their free Wi-Fi. I also brought like some of my work. So, I mean, I can at least do some editing and stuff while I'm there. Oh. Didn't bring my laptop charger. takeout night. The best part, steamed buns. I got a noodle bowl. It has shrimp, a spring mix, broccoli, green onion, lime, cilantro, and some sort of like ginger soy sauce. 
I'm in a swimsuit, which means it's lake time. It's actually Saturday. I just finished Besties Bible Club. I don't know the last time we chatted. It went amazing. And while I was doing that, I asked Renee if you could go to Target and pick up the essentials for a lake slash river day. It's actually like a river, but I've never been, so I don't know if it's like lake vibes. But we're gonna drive down, have a little picnic. I think I'm, I'm gonna try and lay out, tan, read, have a bunch of just different lemonade, tea, snacks. Gonna pack up the Jeep and head out. This is the first summery day of the year and it's a long weekend, it's a holiday weekend, thank God. I am done with work for the week, so it's time to get dressed. I don't know what I wanna wear. I have on this cute little bikini. I have like this little cover up that I think I'm gonna put on with probably some shorts. It's gonna be hot out there, but it's perfect. Like let's lay out and tan weather. Okay, let's pack the beach bag. Okay guys, this is what we have going on. So we have iced tea and then some lemonade. I love the poppy strawberry lemon, some siete lime chips. You guys know I love these. Pretzel crisps, you can't go wrong. Buffalo is the best flavor. We have some Simple Mills sweet honey cinnamon thins, some Annie's cheddar bunnies, and then my favorite, which is Skinny Pop, some more popcorn back there. So just like a whole assortment of snacks. And then last night, I went on a Target run to get a few things because I knew we were doing this today. I got a little reusable film camera. I was gonna go to a used camera store and buy one but they were closed and then i saw the target has like this really basic like wannabe film camera um so i just went ahead and picked it up so i'm gonna put the film in it right now so we can take it did it work no wait, no wait, wait, wait. <laughs> back from the lake obviously and this is just like you know when you spent the day outside and there's just like that perfection moment where you're all like sun kissed and like warm from the sun and then you get to come home and you shower and you get in bed and you're all cozy and tan it is the most perfect feeling of summer that's exactly what i'm feeling right now and i just finished the seven year slip basically it's about this girl named clementine and she moves into her aunt's old apartment, which has some magic in it. Sometimes when she enters it, there's like a seven year time slip and she ends up meeting this guy that's seven years in the past. And so there's like a lot of timing issues, obviously. And we just see how all of that ends up lining up for her and following um, just their entire story throughout like the time jumps and everything, which is really fun. The chemistry between the two characters was so, so good. It's that chemistry that you just like, you just eat it up so well. They have like nicknames for each other. They're super like playful with each other and just like really sweet to one another. But you also see the struggles of like the literal time that's in between them and what happens in the present and if she's able to find him. So I really loved the storyline of it. I liked how she was like in publishing. I thought that was really fun and he was a chef which is also really cool so they just have like really cool careers as well i the only thing is i gave it a four star because i just felt like i wasn't super connected to the individual characters we didn't get a lot of their individual backstories i really like clementine i think we got a, a lot of her but we didn't get enough of iwan which is the guy and i don't really know like i don't know i didn't know enough about him to like fall in love with him but I did really love them as a couple and their relationship. So that was really fun to read about, but I don't think I would be like 
thinking about the characters and like constantly missing the book which is how i know i love a book when i don't want it to end and i was kind of ready for this one to end but it was so bingeable i think she also wrote the dead romantics and i want to read that book because i've heard good things about it i would give it like a four star because i really did enjoy it i thought we would switch up genres a little bit and i'm going to pick up caraval by stephanie garber if you're in the book community you know about this book and I would love to know what you think about it. This is one of the books that I've heard the most mixed reviews about. People either love it or find it really boring and I don't know where I'm going to stand on it and I'm really interested I'm really interested to see how I enjoy it. I don't know really what it's about at all. This I believe is part of a trilogy which is also like a sister series you could say to another trilogy once upon a broken heart series and i'm reading caraval because i really want to read once upon a broken heart because those i've heard like complete five six stars about but people say it is better if you read the caraval series first because this comes before that so that's why i'm picking this up and i'm really excited to get into a new fantasy series i haven't read fantasy in a minute if you have read it please tell me your rating if you want a good romance book pick this up this chemistry so good that is pretty much it for me i am like tired from the sun today which is the best kind of tired so i put on my super cozy crew neck and i'm just gonna sit in bed i'm gonna start reading this i am going to say bye for now because it's saturday night we have spent the week together it was i mean settling in it's a slow process i think we're getting there every day gets a little bit easier it starts to feel a little bit more like home thank you all for coming along for the whole journey if you liked it make sure to like and subscribe you can also follow me on instagram if you want to keep up with me i'm usually posting on stories every day to update you guys with what i'm doing and i will see you very soon in another vlog or video or somewhere else on the internet